Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Polar Bottle 15 ounce Session Mock and 30 ounce Breakaway Cycling Bottles. When it comes to cycling water bottles, one size rarely works for all cycling disciplines or bicycle setup. Polar Bottle has realized this and added two new size offerings to their popular Mock and Breakaway water bottle collections. We have both of them in this review. The new 15 ounce Session Mock, which is a nice small bottle that's great for full suspension bikes, or smaller frames, as well as the 30 ounce breakaway, which has a lot more capacity for long rides. You can see packaging is very simple. You just have the little cardboard cover that goes underneath the nozzle and the easily removable. And that's the same thing for both. So we'll go ahead and take that off and go over the specs. Retail price on these is $11 or $13, with the 15 ounce smaller one being 11, and then the larger 30 ounce being 13. These are both non-insulated models. So they have a single wall construction that's 100% BPA free. And what's great about these bottles is they share Polar's signature surge cap. So this is a simple two piece cap with the surge valve in there that's pressure activated. So if you just push down on the bottle or suck in a little bit, the little valve in there opens up. Really easy to clean and easy to disassemble. In terms of what comes with these, obviously just get the bottles. With the Session Muck, you get the little add-on cover. So this is the Muck Guard. Goes over the nozzle, so it makes it great for gravel riding or somewhere dusty. And it's just attached with this little plastic thing, a little cover. So you can actually buy this separately and convert any bottle to a Muck version. Now let's take a look at the weight of the bottles. So if we start with the smaller 15 ounce with the Muck Guard on there, it's 82 grams. And then the larger 30 ounce comes in at 110. Polar Bottles is well known in the cycling community for the insulated and non-insulated cycling bottles. These were launched and are produced in Colorado with high quality materials and great design options. In terms of graphics, you can see this is the wave variation for the breakaway. This is non-insulated and this is the clear one. They have a couple of color variations here that change the Bottle color as well as the wave graphic. So it's pretty attractive design. Polar bottles is on there. And otherwise very simple. You have the same little ridge here that you need for any water bottle cage. So that little tab will sit in here and keep it nice and secure. It's a very tall bottle though. You can see about 10.4 inches. While the Session Muck is much smaller at 15 ounces, you don't actually need the grip ring because it's so short it actually sits inside your water bottle cage. This one you have more of this triangular graphic on there. So you can see it goes from small to big. And it's an attractive look. It's available in four different colors as well. This is a nice green option. It's called forest green. It has a sheen to it. And as with a lot of polar bottles, these actually hold up really well to daily use. So these graphics are actually underneath a protective layer. So even our bottles from one or two years ago still look pretty good. Starting with the Session Muck. This is designed for gravel riding or full suspension bikes where you don't have a lot of room, so it's very small. So it's great for traveling as it's so lightweight and short. It's only about six inches long. And you get their muck guard. So very simple rubber design. You can see little tabs on the inside, which hold it against the nozzle. The nozzle is a locking design. So if you push down, it will lock in place. And you push up, it won't drip until there's a little bit of pressure. So you can hear that. So once you apply pressure, the little plastic valve in there opens up. The muck guard is a nice simple design that just keeps it free of dirt or debris. And again, purchase, you can purchase it separately and it's really easy to remove or install. You have a simple threaded base and then a nice basic bottle. The diameter of these are all standard 74 millimeters, so it'll fit any water bottle cage. What's really cool about these bottles though is the cap. So this is what they call their surge cap and it has a surge valve. Two piece design. So if you just rotate, you can see you have a cap here and you have a little plastic valve on the inside and that's what keeps it from dripping. And it's pretty wide too so you get nice high flow. Really easy to clean as you can access every side of this. And then you just line up the dots. So you can see the little dot in there. When that's perpendicular, that'll go right inside the slot and secure it in place. So you push down and you can see now the little ridges hold it there. And when you want to open it, you just rotate it out. It's a really nice design and I really prefer this over the 
Camelback, which has a three or four piece part. So much more complicated with this, you just pop it out, put a brush in there and clean it. The breakaway is identical, essentially. It's just a taller bottle. So same cap, they're all interchangeable. And this is a single wall design. So for really hot rides, this will get warm. But with 30 ounces of capacity, you can put a lot of water in here. So if you're doing a long ride, you don't have a lot of water spot, stops, or any place you can refill. It's a great option, but it is quite long at about 10.4 inches. Here you can see the 30 ounce bottle on our Decathlon Tribe and Bike, and you can see it's a very long bottle, so you need a lot of space for it. While the 15 ounce variation is tiny, it's even shorter than the bottle cage itself. So a great option if you don't have a lot of space. And you can always put these bottles on secondary or third bottle cages. So if you have your fork for long distance rides or full suspension bike, you can definitely find a place for it. When it comes to cycling bottles, there's quite a few companies to choose from. The main ones would be Camelback, Elite, and Bivo. So here we have Camelback's Dirt Variation. This is their Dirt Series Podium. So this is the insulated option versus the single wall. They're both quite soft, so you can see very easy to operate and modulate. They both have the surge valve style, so it's a little pressure activated. So you hear the same thing. With this one, their mud cover is a little bit simpler. It's just this little cover here that's detachable, and the ring is actually built into the rubber itself. So slide this over, and then you put it over the cap. It's not as visually clean as the muck guard. You can see it fits more flush, but it is a little bit bigger as it goes around the base. This one's easily removable, but obviously it doesn't really sit that flush here. The Podium Series is also really nice. From Camelback, you can see similar design. Every bottle is about the same diameter. Same grip ring here, so that ensures it doesn't fall out of your water bottle cage. Flexible. And then the big difference here between the brands are the caps. So this one's a lot more complicated from Camelback. You can see you have a little guard. You have the same inner piece. You have to flex these little tabs inward, pull out the lock ring, and then even this rubber piece comes off the main plastic. So a lot more complicated and kind of unnecessarily complicated. So you're less likely really to give this a deep clean versus the simple two-piece design of the Polar. And that's one reason why I really transitioned from Camelback to Polar myself on my daily ride. So you can see it's simpler design and it works equally well. This locks, but it's a rotational lock. So that'll prevent the bottle from leaking. While the Polar one is simple, push-pull. So you push down and lock it. Elite also has bottles. They have their Fly Collection. You can see this one is, again, an insulated version. A lot softer. Elite's really known for soft and lightweight. But that does sacrifice some of the quality of the exterior. So it's less durable. You can see even with minimal use, this starts to show wear and damage from your bottle cage. While the Podium, or even the Polar bottles, seem to hold up a lot better over time. There's also steel bottles specifically designed for cycling. This is the Bivo 1. It's an interesting design, so it's actually steel, not insulated, although they do have an insulated variation. And because you can't actually squish it because it's metal, you have this gravity straw system. So this goes all the way down and actually vents off it. So when you're drinking, you see there's a little vent here that lets air escape and water to flow out. So it's an interesting concept. You'll never taste plastic as there is no plastic on here but you do have the heavier weight. It's more dangerous as well if this were to fall on the road. You can't just run it over and be okay. You'll actually potentially crash the person behind you. So it's kind of give or take, but it gets away from plastic. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Polar bottles. What we like about them is that they have very affordable prices. Even the largest size is under $13. And they have easy to use and clean surge caps throughout all the models. We also like the fact that Polar is adding more sizes here with the 15 and 30 ounce, which gives you a lot more choices. So whether you're doing a long distance ride or have a full suspension bike, you can definitely find a bottle that fits your bike. As far as cons, there's not really any to say. Like they're pretty good bottles and even made in the US. Taking everything into account, we give the Polar bottles a 9.5 out of 10. These are great options, whether you have a big bike, small bike, and you have a lot of color options to choose from. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist.